Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he's into the end zone for a tip. Fournette diving for the end zone, and he is in. Here's Burrow. And this is caught now for a late touch. Today on EA Sports. This is the National Football League. Cincinnati Bengals taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at what's now known as Paycor Stadium here in Cincinnati. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Cincinnati Bengals. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Right to the air is Burrow, and his first look is incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. On third down, Burrow. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards that time at a Cincinnati first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball is moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return. And the Bucs are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. Brady and the Bucs now with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll start on the ground here with Bernard. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for him. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. Call it a gain of a yard. And it'll be fourth down. Well, able
able to get the completion, but unfortunately not able to get the third down conversion there on that play. And I like how the defense approached that one. They knew where the first down marker was, and they decide whatever you want to have, you can. You're just not going to get the first down. Excellent tackling right there. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. Boy, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Fluff. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football... And the pressure gets to him again. Shaquille Barrett drops him again for the second straight play, and it brings up fourth down. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3 nothing. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. Their second drive here, the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive, and get some points of their own. Five yards, now it's third and five. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 38. Inside handoff now to Fournette. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Seven yards there and a first down. On the draw, this is Fournette. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. They got five through the air last play. Now five on the ground, first and 10. Here's Bernard. 
And he'll get four there down to about the 12 yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Cameron Bray taking it in from two yards out. And the Bucs have taken the lead. An excellent, long, sustained offensive drive. And now they can look across the field and see a defense that looks a little bit beaten down. Right now, as an offensive coordinator, you're thinking to yourself, can I dial up the knockout punch? Ryan suck up on for the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. Takes it at the 7. Running room at the 50. Look out. The 20. And he takes it all the way, but there is a flag down. So hold the celebration. This one's coming back. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick go. returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. From the gun to give to Mixon. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now Burrow, and his throw's gonna be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's Burrow. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he's gonna have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Burrow to Boyd there for the Cincy first. Two minutes to play in this first half, 7-3, our score. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And that's caught one more time by Boyd. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And the Bucs are going to take possession of the football. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Fournette. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. DJ Reader there on the tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Brady. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one. And it's third down. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Here's Brady. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Suckup's kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3.
Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. This one taken just inside the 10. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Throwing again on second down. Burrow. This is caught. It's Boyd. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Burrow looking to pass. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. So we have reached halftime here. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. From the end zone, here comes Jalen Darden. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you can do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. 48 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They'll run it again with Fournette. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 46. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. A big pickup there, 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. On the draw, it's Vaughn. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. 
Fournette running out of the gun. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. On third down, Fournette. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They'll run it here with Bernard. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Now Bernard. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Fournette diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Extra point try now for Suckham. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And the man who finished it off with a run into the end zone, Leonard Fournette. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Now a leaping catch, he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance, not with him. We've seen it too many times. Mixon with a first down carry. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Just rely more on the passing attack. I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect. Let your quarterback operate and try and find some targets in the open field downfield. We're all going to get this into the hands of Mixon, his running back. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Mix it up the middle. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. William Goldston in on the stop. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Burrow will throw. Gets this into the hands of Samaj P. Ryan. And they'll get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. They're passing here. Joe Burrow over the middle. He finds Higgins. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the five now, second and a yard. Now it's Burrow. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. 
fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Here we go, here we go. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Inside handoff to Mixon. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bengals in possession of the football here, here as we get your reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. That's to his running back, complete. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Yeah, 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 let's go. Wait a second, that's got to be a mistake. They declined it. That doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, it doesn't at all because you want that penalty. All right, they just picked up a first down, right? You want the penalty. Uh, I, I am so confused right now. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Here's Burrow. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> They get one more as the extra points up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Taken in at the three. And able to get this out to the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration, because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But... If you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. They'll try and run some clock with Fournette. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's Fournette. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. 109 yards on the ground for Fournette. It's a first down. Now Leonard Fournette. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they go. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Inside handoff now to Fournette. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. It's a gain of six, and that ought to just about do it. They keep it with Fournette on first down. And some space here. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort.
What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Cincinnati.